Hey everybody, it's Keenan from Retool back with another AI app build. As your sales team grows, keeping everybody on the same page with regards to best practices and what's working with your outreach emails is a constant effort. But luckily that's something that AI can help us with. And while you should still have a human in the loop on any type of sales automation like we'll be building today, by the end of this video, we will have built an app that can help our sales team write better, more consistent outreach emails. So let's dive in. All right, so we're here in Retool's app builder and we're just gonna start by grabbing a couple text components uh, so that people know that they're in the right place when they use our app. So we're going to call this generate outreach emails. And we're also just going to provide a little bit of an explanation as to what we expect the user to do. So we'll say fill out the fields below to generate a first draft email. Right. So we can put that up here for them. But the AI prompt that we're going to use, as we'll see a little bit later, actually has a few different parameters that it needs to do a good job. And so we need to ask the user for those parameters. So we're going to use a tabbed container because we have two different sets of things we want to ask about. First, we want to ask about the prospects information. Right, so we know who we're addressing this email to. And secondly, we need to know a little bit about the user. Right, so what we can do is if this was something that you were just using internally at your company, this your info could be hard coded information. Uh, but for now, we're going to leave these both dynamic. And so now we're doing just a little bit of technical magic here where we speed this up a little bit. But what we're essentially doing here is adding all of the text fields and information that the AI prompt is going to need. So it's going to need things like the prospect's name, the prospect's job title, the prospect's company, their email address, so we can fill that in automatically, and some other information about their company. And for our company, it's going to need the same thing. So this makes this usable by anyone in your team. They can just enter their name, their email, um, and things like you know company and information about your company. If you were just using this internally, again, you could uh, make that information pre-populate. But for now, we're going to leave those as actual options that the person can fill in. So we'll also add a button that lets the email actually be generated. We'll disable it if certain fields aren't filled out. Um, and then we'll actually just create the outreach email form. So all the fields on this side of the app aren't going to be filled out by the user. We'll actually populate these either from values on the left side or we'll use the AI query to do those. Okay, so now we have prospects information, your information, all these fields are set up here. We also have the actual generative email um, over here. So these values, again, like we said, will not be filled in by the user. They'll be filled in by the AI query. But we now have our template fully set up and configured to go. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is start to populate these fields on the right. So what we want to do here is for your email, right, when a user types into this field, we want that to automatically go over here and to be the from field, right? So we'll use one of Retool's event handlers to do this. And we'll say when this input changes, we want to control a component. And the component we want to control over here, we should name this from email. And so then we can say we want to control you know, our from email component and we want to set the value to whatever the value of your email that value is. So that means that as soon as we start typing over here, we now get instantly the same email populated over here. So we'll do the same thing for prospects info. So the prospect email, we want to populate the to address field. So we'll go to prospect email, we'll set up an event handler, we will say on the change, we want to control a component, and we'll say you know, to address, set the value, and then equal to prospect email dot value. So again, now if we say John Doe here, we can see that that's populating over there as well. And that's just a helpful feature so that you know the emails, there's no mistyping or copy pasting errors or anything like that. So the next thing we need to do is actually set up our generate email button to work and generate us a subject and a body of an email. So to do that, we are going to create ourselves an AI action. And you can see that Retool AI has already selected as our resource. We're going to call this generate email. And we're going to have it generate text. In this case, uh, we, we've done some help from Claude writing a pretty long prompt. So I just want to take a look at this real quick. And this is what it does. So basically, it, it tells our AI that you're an expert sales copywriter tasked with creating a first draft email for a specific prospect. And then you can see here, we're actually using Retool's double curly brace syntax to drop our information from our form fields straight into the prompt. So the AI will have access to all this information of everything we filled out, the, you know, our company's name, our company's information, 
the goal of the outreach email that we want to send. Um, and then it has specific instructions, you know, begin with a personalized greeting, open with a brief relevant hook. And these are the sorts of things that you could easily customize to your organization, especially tone and style guidelines. You'd want to probably make those how you send out email at your company. But what's important here is then we also just include a bunch of email templates that have worked really well, right? So we have, you know, I think 10 here of e uh, sample emails, right? With subject lines and, you know, bodies of emails that have worked really well for us. And so we can keep changing those and modifying those as we find emails that work even better. Um, but as far as the output of what we want from the model, we ask it to give it a subject enclosed in these subject tags and then give us the body of the email and everything else in there. So once we save this prompt, we get that there as the input. If you wanted to write a system message here about how you know, you're being useful to write uh, outreach emails, that would be fine. We're gonna leave the temperature at one, but an interesting thing that we can do is we can use retool vectors and we have a built-in vector database inside of retool that we can store things like we have all of retool's documentation stored in a vector database, which means that information can be accessible to this email writing software as well. So if we, for example, tell the AI that our prospect is really interested in you know, retool's AI technology, it can put information about those features that it knows from the documentation straight into the email, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna include that here and we're gonna just go ahead and save that query. So we'll just go ahead and fill these out really quickly. We'll say that, you know, Apple just launched their new iPhone and so they're having trouble managing their inventory and that's why they might need a retool portal or we're reaching out to them in this case. So once we get all this filled out, then we're ready to look at our AI query. All right, so the last thing to do is actually hook up our generate outreach email button with an event handler and we want to trigger our generate email query. I've also over here added two small scripts that use the fact that we asked the AI to give us the subject line in between these subject tags to grab the subject line itself and put it over in the subject line field and same thing for the email body. That just makes it a little bit easier if it's split up that way. But now that everything's hooked up, we can actually just hit run on our generate outreach email button. And you can see down here, it's actually running our query in the background for us. And once it goes through and processes everything that it needs, our subject line is here and we have our email body here as well. So we'll notice that it mentions, you know, some of the challenges that we talked about in this prospects info tab. It has an email here that's based on the templates that we provided in our prompt. And you know, if you provide new templates in your prompt, you get new versions of this email. So if you find certain outreach emails are working better over time, you can use those as templates inside your prompt in your AI query and your whole team gets better emails right away. And that's it. You now have an app that can help anyone on your team write great outreach emails. As you learn more about what's working, you can keep this app updated with new email templates and be constantly refining your prompt to help anyone on your team write even better emails automatically. If you wanna try out this tool for yourself, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. And if you have another idea for an AI app that you wanna see me build, please leave us a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.